Seriously? But, Mr. Morris, I don't understand, sir. How could you only be telling me this now? <sighs> I'm afraid that there's nothing really I can do. I'm really facing a crisis. My hands are tied. But what about my film? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to come up with something on your own. Take it from me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Same goes for this film festival. Oh, oh! Hey, isn't that Xavier? So he's back in Fontaine now! Xavier! Oh, why, if it isn't the dear Traveler and Paimon. I really didn't expect to bump into you here at this time. Well, I was doing just fine until I received some terrible news just now. The investor I was working with for my upcoming film has fallen upon some hard times and is no longer able to provide the promised amount of funds. Can't you just find a different investor? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia Film Festival, stipulating that I cannot work with any other investors until the festival is finished. The Fontanalia Film Festival? What's that? Oh, is this your first time participating in Fontaine's Fontanalia Film Festival? Then allow me to fill you in. <laughs> The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights, who went on a quest to search for the Oceanids, and eventually welcomed the Hydro Arconigeria. Uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine, as well as its unique laws and trials. It's one of the most important festivals for this nation. But what's with that weird expression on your face? It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. Ah, oh, I was just trying to recall the exact description from the books. <laughs> In order to avoid any uh, unnecessary arguments over semantics, <laughs> I usually try to recite things straight from the source. Well, either way, Paimon thinks she gets it now. It's just like the Windbloom Festival in Mondstadt and the Lantern right in Lille. Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good festival? And just like those of other nations, Fontaine will hold a plethora of events around this time each year. To commemorate the Loch Knights, people will imitate them by putting on special costumes, raising golden cups, and going door to door asking for pure water. But a few years ago, Lady Farina started to find the whole idea a little drab, and so decided to change the part about pure water to sweets. That really doesn't surprise Paimon at all. The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now, and it's quite popular among the kids. Every year you can hear a bunch of them saying, trial or treat. Oh, that sounds pretty fun. But how does that connect back to the film festival you mentioned? Ah, yes, uh, it appears I've strayed off topic. <laughs> I just got too excited after seeing you. Let me get back to the point. The Fontanalia Film Festival is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Now that film technology has matured as a medium, it's the perfect time to introduce more people to the art form. During this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, and the entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the Association. The what award? The Farina Award. You know, after the Hydro Archon. They coined it while Lady Farina was still in power, but uh, even though things have changed, no one has made any motion to update the name. Perhaps everyone still thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name. Even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer, Lady Farina is still Fontaine's superstar. Anyone with eyes can see the way she shines on the stage. Huh. All right. Guess the name does work pretty well when you put it that way. Oh, but who would have guessed there'd be an issue with the funding? How will I ever explain this to Miss Chiori? Not to say all the other actors who traveled all the way here from Inazuma. Chiori? Uh, sounds familiar. 
Where have we heard that name before? Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art direction, including the design of the actors' costumes and appearances. Oh, Paimon remembers now! Navia said that her clothes were designed by Chiori, and Kirara's outfit too! How to describe her? Uh, well, she tends to be pretty direct and can be very forceful when it comes to dealing with people. The fashion world in Fontaine has dubbed her the Thundering Seamstress. Her remarkable designs have led many Fontanians to become very interested in Inazuma. Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Without her help, I don't think I would have been able to get such an international cast for the film. She really is a kind soul. Who are the actors from Inazuma? Do we know them? Why don't the two of you accompany me to the Aquabus station to welcome them? Judging from the time, the Aquaba should be arriving shortly. Chiori will be waiting to meet me there as well.